All right, here we are, where it all sort of started. Um, I've done my three year apprenticeship here uh, through Ceilings. Dad had his own company. This is his um, factory unit. So yeah, uh, we've just been clearing it out, had the painter come through, um, do a few of the walls that we had to touch up because uh, we had photos and whatnot we had to take down. Used to have a sign up there that got taken down. And we're still getting the walls touched up. This is the warehouse bit. It's massive. So we're just doing a few touch ups out here. Got a mezzanine floor and there's a toilet underneath with a big sink. Massive roller door. This is like the boardroom type meeting area. It's got the kitchen. Cupboards. So this is what we used to do. All like the ceilings and light troughs. And also like shadow line detail around as well as corners. And this is upstairs. This is where it's like a lounge room and two offices are, as well as a mini kitchen. We've got a mini kitchen, sort of just an open area uh, to chill. Lounge room, um, TV and whatnot. This is an office. A little storeroom through there. This is another office. Those windows just look out to the front, that front car park. And then, right here, is just another um, small toilet. So, yeah, as well as sorting and packing at the house we've been packing here for the past oh, i think week or so but yeah nearly done just giving it a clean up and vacuum and then it'll all be just about um, finished Ah, and also I forgot to show, it's not much here, it's just a little passageway, it's got a little light trough, and then there's just toilet in here, and also toilet in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get back to packing. Hey guys, we're back in the factory unit now. We've got my car parked there and Dad's 200 series. We're just doing a few things uh, to get it sorted. So what what it has is an ARB um, compressor behind the seat there. Yeah, you guys can see that. This hose runs through there, we've run it and we're gonna do the uh, 10 meter hose reel on it. So that runs behind there. Still got to tie all that up. And then that, we end up sitting up on that bracket. So out of the way. Uh, we're going to enclose this a bit more because the dog's going to be here. And up there, we've got a little uh, pet ramp because she's nine years old, so she struggles to get up. It's like a telescopic uh, pet ramp that we got. So that just sits on the uh, tailgate sort of bit here. And she'll be able to... Uh, climb up pretty easy. So that will sit on top of here and then we're gonna do straps so that won't move anywhere. Got a brand new ingle which is going here, 45 litre fridge. Um, and that's it for now. I'll show you a little bit more what we've done inside. Check this out, how cool is this? Four steps fold out. Back in. Anyways. Uh, got a brand new dash mat, the phone holders up there, dash cam. Uh, what else have we done? 
That's pretty much about it for now. What else we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take that roof rack off because we've got a custom boat loader being made from custom boat loaders in WA. Uh, the steady lights, we're gonna chuck two of them on the front and yeah, then it will be sent in to go get um, pretty much all fitted and whatnot. But yeah, for now we gotta continue this. Uh, that's the board we've got and the carpet. So cut it to size to go around there. Obviously all neat and tidy. And then, yeah, that's it for now. I'll keep you guys updated on what's uh, happening. And I'll show you guys once it's done. All right, so what me and dad have done now, we've done this little um, compartment. So that opens and you can put stuff behind because that's where the compressor is. And this didn't move before, so put on hinges and then that little bracket locks on top because this flat bit goes there, but we've got a board going across there and then coming back this way, which is what this is. I'll just flip it over so you guys can see. Yeah, so that's the board that goes across and then that's across the back and there. Uh, and it's on a slant to follow the line of the fridge. Then we've got all these clips three clips at the back to hold it in place and then that one there to latch that little door that's in front here closed um, and yeah so that whole bits enclosed and then we got the doggy bag sort of thing that'll sit up here and that's where the dog will go uh, with the ramp they'll come up here so she can run up uh, without getting lifted up or whatnot because she can't jump so yeah we'll fit it now and we'll see uh, how well it fits, but we've really sort of test fitted it before we screwed it all up and it uh, fit pretty good, so we'll see. So it's all enclosed. That's like the latch, like I said. Now I'll show you the other side. So that's the back of it. Obviously there's latches. That's the back of where that fridge goes. That's for the hose reel, runs back around and back underneath. Yeah, all nice and neat. Alright, so after we finished doing the 200 series, we've been working on this. Um, so we got a bracket and then cut a little slit there, same as that side. Uh, this is my fire pit that I've used. Um, we're going to use it to also cook um, like food over the fire and coals. So we've got a motor that goes onto this bit and it's only, uh, where is it, 13 watts. So yeah, barely uses anything. And what we've got is a, um, a rod that goes through with prongs. You pretty much chuck your meat on there and uh, I'll turn it on in a second. And it pretty much just turns over the fire and slow cooks your food. Yeah. Pretty cool. So definitely looking forward to putting food over that. Have a roast or something, should be good. And also before I forget, put all this stuff aside here. Pretty much all of this is gonna be going in both caravans, like obviously splitting it, what's uh, for mum and dad they're having and what's mine is what's going in mine. So obviously you got all the diving gear, uh, fishing stuff, pretty much everything, uh, the fridges, tools, pretty much everything you could think of, uh, the chainsaws, Good morning guys, today is the day we're going to go pick up that something that you've all been waiting for. Um, so yeah, it's about 8 o'clock at the moment, we've got to get there for 9, so we're going to leave now and I'll bring you guys with me and when we're there, you guys, I'll, I'll turn the camera on so you guys can see exactly what we're picking up. Let's go! <laughs>
Hey guys, it's a day after dropping off the new van. I'll give you guys a tour through the whole van, uh, but I just want to show you, uh, obviously, what I've started doing. I haven't uh, started fitting everything out in it as of yet, uh, purely because it needs to go back uh, to another place to get a dust suppression system, a Dometic one fitted. So that'll be getting done, and obviously, like, yeah, I don't want all my stuff throughout the van. So yeah, that's what's gonna happen. But for now, all the outside hatches, obviously I can lock them. So they're gonna be um, like getting sorted with all my stuff just to make life easier when it does sort of come the time to uh, pack everything in. So at the moment, I'm just doing my 60 liter ingle, which was in my canopy, if you guys remember that. So I'm gonna get like a little 35, 40 liter just in there, obviously cold drink, so if you go and uh, free camping just with the car over a night or two so we're doing that at the moment just put all the straps on uh, done all the cable management for it and now just giving it a good clean out and that will stay running put some shelter in it when that arrives some parallels over here I've got um, this uh, so it's a wall socket a normal wall socket and then it goes to a 15 amp i'm pretty sure it is um and that has a breaker switch in it i think it must just be like a safety reason because you can't just get an adapter that goes straight to the wall but anyways so got that and that's just plugged straight into 240 with the van got this off at the moment that's for the uh, hot water system and the shower and under here what's going to happen is the grey water for this van is just hooked up to come straight out onto the floor. Obviously that's fine for when you're in the outback, apart from some national parks don't want you to do that, obviously. So I'm going to add a grey water tank. I've got a 50 litre tank, uh, which I bought. A poly tank. That's the other two. There's one there, one at the front. And we're going to put this one just here at the back. And it's actually higher than that. so any obstacles that's going to smash the other tank with the cover over it before it even touches that tank so yeah that's just purely going to be grey water uh, 50 litres real easy to plumb up just got to put the bracket up and then um, it's just got a T section from uh, the inside sink and the shower drain and that's pretty much all it has so that's going to run obviously to the top of the tank somewhere and then the outer like to drain it it's gonna have another bung in it and that's what's gonna um that just hooks up there and that that will just run into the bottom of the tank so nice and easy um yeah so even if you have it parked in like say like we've got it in a warehouse at the moment while we fit it out and get everything ready in the vans uh mum and dad's van is due uh end of next week so yeah got a lot to still do a lot and a lot but it's better than um yeah having no van because they were quite hard to get a hold of because vans at the moment are very difficult to get as uh some of you guys will probably know but yeah that's where the two gas bottles go uh these i'll probably end up taking off they get two lockable ones to go at the back and i'll just get another two uh lockable boxes beside to put um all my uh tools and also i've got like oil for the um car and stuff i do services obviously there so i don't want any of that in the clean section of the van i've got these two fold down panels so like that i don't really want these nice um inserts to sort of get damaged with tools getting knocked about and obviously smell of oil or whatnot so they will go in the toolboxes and all this sort of stuff will be for like my diving gear or just um you know stock ups and like your toilet paper or any of that sort of stuff so yeah getting there slowly and then once the van goes in for that dust uh suppression system then I'll be uh, fitting it all 
out inside and that's when I'll do a walkthrough with you guys to actually show you the inside and pretty much everything. Uh, I may even do an outside, yeah I'll do an outside, so I'll do an inside when I'm sorting out the van, I'll get it all sorted, do a little inside view and then I'll go around and do the old like outside view but for now I just thought I'd show you guys uh, what's going on, keep you guys updated because obviously we got about two weeks left to go. There you go, there's a little um, update of what's been happening around here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll take you guys with me uh, when I start doing the inside, obviously, but that still needs to get booked in because um, it's pretty hard to get stuff at the moment for caravans, as I already said. But yeah, when that all gets done, I can't wait to show you guys the inside and everything set up. It's pretty neat. So, yeah. Keep you guys updated. All right, guys, just got back from Bunnings in Kema. It's 9.30. Um, show you some of the stuff I got. This is just, uh, obviously, from old clothes, uh, dirty clothes, washing basket, collapsible buckets, another tray for my cutlery. This is for when you get out of the shower, so you don't drip water everywhere. Uh, these non-slip mats, decided to go with this so there's not much clutter uh, liquid dispenser so you got your soap shampoo conditioner all that in there uh, got a towel rail for like your tea towels and your main bench got a hook for like your towels and whatnot kept it chrome in the bathroom side of things that's for hanging your hats whatnot toilet paper holder roll and then just a few of these little um, clips, like if you've got a calendar and whatnot. So, yeah, there's a bit, a bit to sort. I've already sorted in here a little bit. Got a brand new um, kitchen utensils and pots and pans. Uh, fridge is all done, you guys have seen that. Got my toaster. Obvious in here, I kept it chrome, so I'll go chrome toilet uh, paper holder and got this cool little vacuum. I'll go more into detail with that with you guys. And yeah, obviously, just need to put these well, oh, that's for the aircon, um, double side tape that to the wall, and pretty much just go through where I'm gonna put everything in the van. Uh, in here, obviously there's like all your kitchen utensils and stuff So yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of this and then once I've sorted it and cleaned it all I'll um, Yeah, pretty much give you guys a little look and walk through as I said, I didn't want to put too much in um, Purely because the dust uh, suppression thingy is getting fitted but I reckon all this should be fine. I'll probably just leave the mattress with like the um, plastic still over it because obviously I'm pretty sure they're going to cut out somewhere there and then yeah, there might be a bit of mess. So we'll leave that for now. Uh, I've already got all my bedding and sheets. Decide to go with all black. I've got orange cushions to sort of go with the black and just those for decoration. And yeah, it should be mint. Hey guys, just a little update on what's been happening. Uh, my car, I've re-wrapped the uh, flares because they were coming off with just normal paint. So those are all done. Car's all clean. I've also added in a winch. Um, gonna have to put a few extra bolts on the bull bar just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere but yeah there's winch been added that's all wireless as well i uh, just got this to put away yeah went for wireless it's just so much easier than having to run a cord so yeah that that's all sort of got all that wired up i just need to do those bolts like i said the van i'm still packing um all this stuff that's to go in my canopy this one sort of yeah, it's not 
cooling too good. So that's why I went and got this other other fridge from Kings. So this one pretty much can open this side or this side, which I found pretty cool. Um, and works out better because the other one's like a single, it's like a combi, so yeah, one side obviously is like a freezer and one side's a fridge. Whereas this one is a dual zone and it's yeah, it got both temps here. And it's actually pretty cool the features it has it monitors your battery so it's almost got like a little um like a solar controller type thing so where it gets too low it shuts off which is pretty cool got a kitchen uh, oh and this rear bar cheers to the legend who done this i'll uh chuck him in this video a bit later on but yeah he's pretty much done all these um brackets welded on the welds are nice and strong as well and had to get these extended because i've got a box which is also made up which he got done real quick so big thanks to him but yeah the box goes through there there's again uh powder coat black to suit the car obviously and caravan the buzz um had to remount this number plate run the wire through got the spare put a crash pad on the back obviously so when you're in the middle of nowhere for two weeks you've got rubbish so that's going to be like the main bin got your little inside bin or outside bin whatever but the main rubbish is going to go into there until you get to your uh, dumping points what else uh, the fabricator is also done is pretty much i remember showing you guys this tank i went and got a separate tank for the gray water so he's went and um fabbed up brackets for it welded everything all in and then all i've done is just run um the hose to this for like all, where all the gray water goes so i've done that and then just rerun that hose to the other side so then obviously when you go to empty it but you only use the gray water for if you're at a national park so most of the time the tap will be open so it'll be just going straight onto the floor so you don't have to carry an extra 50 liters of water and yeah i've just got the rest of this to sort of pack in my van and then uh mum and dad get theirs end of this week so whatever's left is sort of going in their van and whatever we think we don't need that will be going in storage so yeah at the moment just packing the van and inside I packed a little bit, not too much. I won't show you too much because I'll go through the whole inside and outside once I packed it, like I said. But yeah, for now, that's just a little update what's been happening. There's not really too much else that's going on. I've got a um, vinyl wrap signage that's going to be going on the outside of the caravan as well. That will be coming up. So I'll be doing a video, although I'll be in the video, chucking that in. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to keep packing because yeah we've got like a week uh to sort of be out of here so yeah should be good keep you guys updated hey guys another update on how everything's going it's going pretty well i uh, just got my car back from ufi got a 11 mil pump put in and now it's running 187 horsepower um so yeah, it's going to be a lot more suitable for towing and also the reason why I've done it was my standard 10 mil pump. Obviously it's not turbo, like, um, boost compensated, so it wasn't suitable for the turbo, which I knew that, but I didn't change. But now I've changed because it started leaking quite a bit. So done that. Uh, next week the diff has a little bit of uh, play in it, so I'm guessing it's the old... Uh, bearings that are stretched in it so next week that's getting looked at and probably going to be putting new bearings in so diff is going to be sweet and also got this uh, back bar welded so yeah it's, it's not going to be um, pulling the canopy back and sort of like cracking welds and stuff so yeah while it's bouncing on corrugations and whatnot so yeah that's mint 
that's pretty much about it. I got, I'm gonna walk through Dad's car tomorrow. Uh, he had a lot of uh, electrical work uh, that got done to it and they worked real late to get this done because we getting the boat loader uh, tomorrow pretty much, tomorrow morning it's going in. So big shout out to them, I'll mention them tomorrow. And yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow and yeah, it's gonna be, uh, I just can't wait till this is over. There's so much that's been going on and you actually don't realize how much there is until you actually pack up and just leave pretty much to go go travel and yeah it's yeah it's been long long few months and i can't wait until we actually hit the road and start traveling so yeah anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow and i'll walk through what's um been done to dad's car